Identifying passive voice in various texts. Make your English fly high. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to delve into a significant part of the English language, the passive voice. Understanding and identifying the passive voice is essential as it allows us to add variation to our sentences and express ideas from different perspectives. So, buckle up and let's get started. Before we dive into identifying passive voice in various texts, let's do a quick recap. Remember, a sentence is in the passive voice when the subject of the sentence has an action done to it by someone or something else. The structure is usually subject plus verb to be plus past participle. For example, the letter was written by John. The cake has been eaten. In these examples, the subjects, the letter and the cake, are having something done to them by someone else, John and an unknown entity, respectively. Now let's apply this knowledge to identify the passive voice in various texts. Whether you are reading a book, an article, or a short story, look out for that structure. Subject plus verb, to be, plus past participle. Here's an example from a short story. The room had been cleaned by Mary. In this sentence, the room, subject, had something, cleaning, done to it by Mary. And here's an example from a newspaper article. The law was passed by the government. Again, the law, subject, had something, being passed, done to it by the government. Let's practice identifying the passive voice in sentences. I'll give you a few sentences, and your task is to identify which ones are in the passive voice. 1. The book was read by the entire class. 2. She is painting a beautiful mural. 3. A mystery novel was written by Agatha Christie. 4. I am eating an apple. 5. The building was destroyed in the fire. The sentences in the passive voice are 1, 3, and 5. Mastering the passive voice can add a new dimension to your English language skills. It allows you to express actions and events from different perspectives and adds variety to your sentences. Remember, practice is key. So, continue to read various texts and identify the passive voice. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep practicing, and remember, every step you take in learning brings you closer to fluency. See you in our next video. Happy learning!